Thank you very much for the very kind words. You exaggerated, as always, endlessly. <laughs> uh, so I'll just give a little update on the DNSG um, long-term project, <laughs> the revision <laughs> of the guidelines. Uh, so, um, well, we, we are making progress, um, and the point is to revise the guidelines, which are dating from 2004, uh, with Jim Mann and co-workers as the authors, even though one must admit things haven't changed so terribly regarding the recommendations. Um, the guideline group, just to remind you, uh, we have several groups uh, who target kind of chapters of the guidelines uh, and they um, uh, address lipids, proteins, dietary patterns, carbohydrates, and prevention of diabetes. Um, and uh, the one chapter has been finished, more or less, and that is the protein chapter. We had been discussing that many times here, I think, in the past. And it was submitted to the EASD because we are the DNSG and we are an EASD uh, working group. So uh, they have a procedure, the Committee of Clinical Affairs, previously POX, uh, who's, which is chaired by Professor Matthews. We sent the, our draft there and they answered quite positively and congratulated us on all the work we did. Um, and well, this was certainly nice to hear. Um, but then they, the, a major point was really the handling of conflicts of interest. Uh, and so they requested an answer on that and we provided one. But as we discussed here also, this is indeed a topic. I think in the protein field, we're not hit too much. But for instance, when it comes to sugar or sweeteners, there is quite a big industry behind it. And we, we must keep that in mind. And we all know that studies are four times more positive when they're financed by the respective industry than when they're done by an independent group. So we have some biases we perhaps don't even note. So that's why we, have, we answered that. Um, then the details, they asked for more details on the synthesis of data and procedures. I think they didn't really read our paper so well because we explained that, uh, but we answered to that and they suggested to integrate, of course, the protein guidelines with the other nutrients which we are targeting and which we will discuss tomorrow again. Um, so this was, the uh, answer was resubmitted and we are waiting for the statement from the EASD. If they approve it, it would, we would try to publish it and then see where we can publish it as a first output, but still the goal would be to uh, publish complete guidelines. Um, then we had the last guideline meeting in Frankfurt on March 21st. Uh, you see the participants here, uh, Pierre Bendix and Ursula, Ulf, uh, myself, Anne-Marie, Anastasia and Meta Axelsen. Uh, who also wrote the protocol, and we discussed the different topics there. Uh, I'll just briefly go through that. Uh, the carbohydrate group led by Anne-Marie Aas is actually, Anne-Marie is here, so if there are any questions, feel free uh, in the, I think, the discussion which will follow. But they are actually quite progress, so they worked a lot, and they have just published a paper, a, 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 a review, um, uh, and a meta-analysis, uh, about the carbohydrates, and uh, there are quite a number of members in there, uh, Jim Mann together with Andrew Reynolds and uh, other guys from our group. So it's, a, I think, a, a very well-informed and very good working group, and as I understand, we are about to get ready to publish a statement there. Um, then the FAT group is also making progress, so they did actually two literature searches, and Ulf is heading that uh, together with Angela Revelese. And um, so they are also making progress, and you see the work is planned to be finished by the time of the meeting in Croatia, which is tomorrow. And uh, so we're also looking forward to, to progress in that field. But our problem is that we said we would want to use great criteria or assessments, and this is, in fact, something which requires professional work. So you need to have people who do... Uh, 
well, meta-analyses. This is something which is done by many people these days. The, the literature is inundated almost by these meta-analyses. But if you have specific topics and specific questions, you also have, them, have to do them with, those, with this background. And this does not necessarily exist. Uh, and we do not have the manpower, actually, to run these analyses. So this is what really slows us down. And everybody in the group has his job to do. Uh, and it's not just the guidelines. So this is why we are so, uh, well, um, slow. But we may perhaps get to the goal now. Um, the prevention group has actually written a paper um, led by Mati Uzi Tupa and uh, Anastasia uh, Tanopoulou. And uh, we will discuss that tomorrow. And I think also get uh, to the next step and perhaps get this published. Um, so tomorrow is the guideline meeting, and we will discuss those topics and uh, discuss the further proceedings. Um, one of the things is guidelines is a nice thing. Nobody reads guidelines, if one is honest, and nobody follows them. Sometimes they're important for the hospital uh, recommendations, what is on the list of the nutrients supplied in Germany, for instance. Uh, but the important thing is really the recommendations to practice, so which go to the nutritionists who really use them. And our earlier guidelines were always criticized as being too theoretical. A nutritionist doesn't want to have a 20% of this or that nutrient in there and doesn't want to have a GI below whatever. Uh, they want to have foods and, or very practical guidelines. But there are also topics to discuss <coughs> that. And uh, we'll probably discuss tomorrow if we can proceed a little bit faster to publish guidelines, as all the other diabetes societies do without any of these great um, breaks without any of these delays. But on the other hand, we want to be objective. We want to have guidelines which are based on scientific evidence, really. And so we perhaps have to find a way in between those. But this will be the topic for tomorrow. And uh, I'm very happy that many of our members are here today. So we are looking to a fruitful and long discussion tomorrow. Uh, we have the whole day. So this was the last point. Thank you very much. <laughs>